Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Uh, this is like a quick tutorial for those who had been asking me about how to use the performance indicators in assessing the student outcomes. So uh, a quick review will be the IS Excel sheet that is available for everyone. And if you just can recall that you need to fill on those four blue sheets. So you fill on in your course outcomes, you put all your marks for quizzes, tests, test two, for assignments, for whatever you have. And uh, then you're going to do the mapping between your assessment activities and the course outcomes. Then you're going to, that, and this is the sheet which is related to the uh, explanation for the PIs that I'm going to come and explain in a moment. So PI laws question mapping, it is the mapping between the assessment activities and uh, the performance indicators of the student outcomes. And here I said performance indicators of the student outcomes. Uh, next is a summary of all the grades and summary of, of all the assessment activities and the 60% plus the final plus the total. And if you have some individual bonus, uh, and this individual bonus is added uh, not in this worksheet, it will be added in the marks because the marks is the place where you can add all your uh, data and all of your marks. And here I am adding an individual bonus, for example, for this, for this student for two marks. And for this student, I'm going to add four marks. Of course, we cannot just add anything randomly. Uh, that would be based on an assessment. But I'm just saying that you can have some individual bonus. And this is some added future uh, that we have done for, 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 for this Excel sheet based on the recommendations from the faculty members. So we said that so the, 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 the uh, summary sheet is just shows the summary of all uh, the data that had been inputted in the marks worksheet. Uh, for the, the four blue ones, they are not for print. For the four yellow ones, they are all for print. So the summary is going to be printed and then the report for the achievement of the course intended learning outcomes is going to be printed. And then the reports for the program interlearning outcomes is going to be printed. And this is the program interlearning outcomes. And some people will get confused at what is student outcome and what is PI laws. Both of them, they mean exactly the same. This was the old, old terminology, PI laws, the old terminology used by ABIT. This is the new terminology that had been used by ABIT, uh, which is student outcome. And uh, th this is just the, the, the difference. Uh, why we are keeping both? Because uh, this all terminology is the terminology used by Bahrain Quality Assurance Authority. And it is used by the Higher Education Council. So th this, th uh, this terminology is still being used in Bahrain and it's being, it's being used even internationally in many other places. So it's good to keep it. But however, we are changing that to student outcomes for accreditation purposes. And then the final one for print, which shows the details of the achievement of the performance indicators. And it shows here the, 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 the achievement of the student outcomes based on the direct assessment from the CI laws report. And, and this one comes from the performance indicators. That's written here based on the performance indicators. And we come to the PIs. So that is the idea where we are trying to explain the PIs. Okay, talking about the PIs, for example, uh, uh, just to take a, a good example of that, well, uh, you need to search for the course that you teach uh, within the details here. For example, I, I do teach Cheng uh, CHEN324, but you can see there's no Cheng324 here. So that means uh, I'm, uh, I'm not required to, to do anything here to, 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 for the PIs. But if I would say that, for example, I do teach Cheng 323. I do teach Cheng 323. So if this was the case, then it's written here that Cheng 323, as you can see here, Cheng 323, it, uh, it, it was 
kept to measure student outcome two and student outcome two consists of three performance indicators and these three performance indicators if we just go to the details of it the performance indicator two which says to have to ability to apply engineering design to, uh, to produce solutions so this is talking about the design part and performance indicator one is the design strategy performance indicator two is uh, after you design you want to evaluate the alternatives of your different solutions from the design and then you want to test it you want to select the best solution that you have identified and implemented so these are three different performance indicators so going here student outcome two okay i need to measure these three so how do i start i go to pi laws question map and when i go to pi laws question map i need to measure these three performance indicators and 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 i do i advise that if i'm going to measure this performance indicators of these student outcomes i'm not going to uh, uh, select the the, the 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 assessment activities that are at the beginning of the course like quizzes test test one uh, maybe test one is fine uh, but uh, quizzes uh, if it if it's quiz one or quiz two i'm not going to use that uh, the reason is that like there are two things that you need to be away from if this quiz has a very small percentage it's not wise to select it to measure the achievement of a performance indicator or uh, this quiz is at the beginning of the semester and when i say at the beginning of the semester what does that mean it means that maybe the student will achieve the 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 the, the outcome by the end of the semester in the final or uh, within one of the assignments so he he's going to achieve or she's going to achieve by the end of the semester so talking about the student did not get a good mark or he did not achieve the performance indicator one <clears throat> for student outcome two by the beginning of the semester uh, it does not mean that he will not achieve it later so we will not put one here but rather we will put ones for the higher assessment activities at the, what i mean that at the, at the later stage of the semester but i need to make sure that okay which part of my course does include designing a strategy or developing a design strategy so i will say for example i will develop a design strategy in the final uh, design report and this is the final design report and here i'm selecting that that was the first design report uh, it's like question one and final it was about the design report so here uh, I'm adding one. I just want to make sure that if I go back to marks, well, in the final, I do have question one. So there are the, 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 there are marks for that part. So what does the system do? It will say how many students got above 60 percent of that mark, which is 35. So 60% multiplied by 35, this is something like around 20 or 19 point something, not sure. So then it counts how many students are above 20. Well, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, five. And it counts the number of students who are above 20. And actually, if you go below here, it will show you that the students who achieved uh, above 20 were about 31 uh, students in question number one. 31 students out of 35. And, and and that is a really a good number uh, let me see is it uh, 31 yeah it's written here you can see the students who did really achieve uh, that success criteria and it's 31 uh, and so on so so 31 out of 35 is a good number it's above uh, something like about 90 percent uh, as we can see so what I would expect I would expect now based on the performance indicator that my course is related to outcome two and pi one and two and three and then i want to pi loss question mapping and i said that to achieve pi one for so2 which is developing a design strategy it is related to the question one and final and i will just assume that question two and final it was related to pi two 
Okay, that is for tomorrow. For PI2 and then for PI3, it will be achieved through question three. So what, this is all what I need to do. That's all what I need to do for the PIs. So what did I do? I just added this one, one and one only. And the results will appear here. And you see all the results appeared here. And if just can recall, uh, why we have achieved 89%. The reason that we have achieved 89% was because that I said there were 31 students out of 35 who got above 60 and that is about 89% if you just do it through a calculator. Okay, so uh, this is how, but they, I can see that I'm not achieving PI2 SO2 and I'm not achieving even PI3. They are both of them, they need some improvement actions, and I need to write some reasons here and improvement actions. Uh, the average of all these three is the number here, 58%. So I may have, uh, this one now is not achievable, but uh, I mean, it did not achieve the criteria, which is 60%, but maybe the average is above 60%, but the details, if you go the details of PIs, we did not achieve it. This is not bad, but it just says that uh, it reflects that uh, that uh, sometimes taking the overall number does not give you the details that you are really achieving the outcomes. You're saying, well, the students look, they're really good. They achieve more than 60%, but maybe they are bad in evaluating. They can design, but they, they cannot really evaluate the feasibility of their design or select select the best solution, which is even more difficult and a higher level of thinking. Uh, so this is all. This is all for the tutorial. And I think so. Uh, all what you have to do is look at your course here. And, and then you can see that I have three performance indicators for that outcome because my course is written here. And what do you do? After you look at your course na name, you go to PI loss question map and you just select uh, the assessment activity here. There are some faculty members say that, well, I also have design strategy in one of the activities here. And I have also another strategy, designing a strategy also for PI1, SOT, PI1, and for an assignment one as well. You can do this. It's enough just to select one. If you want to select more than one, it is fine. But please do assure that what you're selecting has a good percentage, uh, reflectable. And number two, it is by the, the second half of the semester second half of the semester, that means like it's not the beginning of the semester which shows that, uh, that, that the student is still early for to, to, to test him or has test her that if she is achieving the outcome or not. That's all we, what we have. This is what we have as a final product here and you're going to print that for the uh, head of the department to the DAC committee. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Basar Mohammed, and hopefully to see you in other videos. Thank you very much.